Hello and welcome to an Athos Craft News update. Now obviously we only are here to bring you the truth, enough of the truth, but in our last news update there was um, accusations of murder shall we say. Um, whilst this was not the intention, we do issue an apology and retract our statement. Obviously accidents do happen with villagers all the time. Um, but um, to clear this up, we actually went over to see Alankis and actually give an apology directly to her and give an interview on the direct impact it had on her and the business within the realm. So let's go over to our report over at the base. Hello, Mr. Doggy. How are you today? So we are here today outside Alaska's place um, following reports that the devastating accusation of murder has actually caused a lot of distress. Uh, we are now currently waiting for her to come up for an interview. Um, we have our camera and lighting all set up. So um, hopefully she'll be up in a minute and we'll get her take on the events of what's happened since that, since that story came out. Why hello and um, welcome to a quite a gloomy rainy day as usual on Athoscraft. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Okay, so obviously on the um, we're here today just to see. Obviously, you wanted to give your your statement onto the impact of um, Athoscraft daily news accusation of murder. What would you like to say towards that? Yes, so. Um on the last uh, episode of uh, the Athos Craft News, I was accused of uh, murder, and um, this rumour has obviously spread. So now, um, every time I go into my iron farm right here behind me, um, you know, all the the villagers in there, they just stop what they're doing and they they just stop and stare at me. So I'm finding it quite emotionally hard uh, with this rumour being around um, that I have killed someone. And also, I would like to say that's a big misunderstanding. Um, so in my iron farm, uh, there was a, a, a lava bucket that got knocked over. It was an accident. Okay, an okay, accident. Uh, have we got any witnesses to this accident? Um, well, there's obviously everybody in, in the iron farm who was there that day. Um, so they can, yeah. It, it's quite... Um, it's obviously dangerous working with lava so what we've done now we've, we're taking this very seriously uh, what we've done is we have um, put up warning signs for the for the villagers um, so they have a little uh, lava bucket they can look at um, so they remember and also um, we've hired a f new foreman um, Kevin the pigman um, so he's a quite a competent foreman and he, he keeps everything under wraps well, I mean, he keeps everything secure. Okay. I mean, here at Athos um, Daily Update News, we, we, we like to keep things honest and true. So we would like to attract our statements as a, as a way of apology. Um, obviously, there is no courts here and obviously no evidence to, to on the on this news press. But um, can we speak to Kevin and take it, get his take on it? Yes, of course. Yes, um, he's right in here. Uh, I'll take you through. So this is Kevin. Uh, you're, you're on the news. Hello, Hi. Kevin. Um, would you like to give us your verdict of the events that happened on that frightful day? Uh, yeah, I'm... Um, He's a very busy man, um, or, or pig man. Um, okay. Yeah. Right, your villagers seem um, particularly quite happy. Yes. Uh, working away here. Hello, guys. Mm. As you can see, they're a little bit um, apprehensive, which is uh, why this has been such a tough time. Um, and also, um, it's cost me a fair few trades. And so not just emotional 
uh, damage has been done here. It's also um, also the economical <laughs> impact on our company. Ah, uh, yes, and we can see your um, lava bucket up there, look, just in case. <laughs> <laughs> yes, they can, they can look at that and think about what's going to you know, happen if they do that again. Okay, and what's the lasting damage to your, your business? I, I understand you're a competing iron farm shop owner. Yes. Um, well, uh, we're, we're hoping that business will pick up again soon. Uh, we've also uh, recently invested a little bit in PR, which will become apparent over the next couple of weeks. All right, cool. Well, thank you very much for your time today. And um, we, we seriously hope that um, things do actually get a lot better in the near future for you. <laughs> Thank you. Well, I really, really hope you enjoyed that. that um, I want to thank Alaskis for, for getting involved with that and um, helping us bring that news story to life. Um, so um, we have been doing a lot of stuff on um, on the Atlas Craft World. Um, being a family man, my kids take over the PC, so a lot of it's been done on my mobile, and yes, I do play on mobile, and yes, it's a pain, but I've got a lot better at it. But let's take a tour then of the, the first tower. So we've got the roof now in place, um, and as you can tell, we've gone for black glass and stone. We're going to try to get a solar panel effect with, with this, so um, yeah, I'm quite pleased how this turned out. So yeah, um, so they're at, they're at like solar panels, we've got a couple of blocks missing there, so we'll have to get them replaced. Um, with the lances powering free. Obviously the second farm across the way has bigger ones. Now each level is floored out. So this is the residential tower actually. Um, so we have a bed, um, we have our, our, obviously our enchanting table in place. Um, we will decorate a bit more as we go through. Um, and we have this kind of teleportation water stream. I mean, it's like a teleport, makes you go up and down. We were gonna build a slime farm, it's just too small to build a slime lift in here. So um, we need to do this door, but that's the general idea of it. Um, simple 2x2 two two piston door with the attracting steps to come out. So we will get that sorted out as well. We're actually on the landing pad, and we'll go over to our second tower. Um, which I think is now being built up really well. Um, we're almost there, we need to decorate the outside a bit more. But the inside is basically um, farming. So down here we're going to have little micro farms. Um, obviously redstone ones. Um, just to help us get quick crops fast, a little bit of decoration in here. Um, I much prefer the lighting in this one, but the lighting has to be a bit more with the crops. Um, each area will have its own different crop type. Most of this is for show, but each of the harvest will be replanted. Um, so we get those torches out of the way, there we go. Um, yeah, uh, we have flooring as well, so you can see right down. So this is the general idea of this second tower, to, to be this kind of way. Um, with different crops on different levels, so up on to level 3 or level 2, if you want to count the bottom of the ground. And we have the carrots and potatoes. And then on the very top level, we're going to have our, our nether wall. I haven't decided yet on the block to cover the outsides, but we will do, and we've still got the floor to replace. And, we got it. and yes, we're using honey blocks as part of the window boundary here. I thought it was a bit more fitting considering it was the, the type of farm thing that we were using. Um, but uh, yeah, I might get rid of that one. I'm not too sure on the honey box just yet. But at the moment, I'm going to keep them there. Um, but we're going to put some glass in the middle. We've still got some stuff to do on the top. So um, all's good and good on the base at the moment. So little bits being done, little bits here and there. Um, really good. Um, I will bring you more of this. We're going to try and probably venture in the next few videos to, to bring some of the footage from the mobile as well in and just see how that works out for us. Um, and, and good there. So what we're going to do now, we're going to go over to where we're going to start doing the, the city. So we've got, found a place for the portal. So let's commute over there right now. There we are, yay. Um, this is where our portal is going to be, um, on top of all the scaffolding. So underneath is going to be the main portal. It's, the design is basically going to slot into the building. So once we built it up, it was slotted. Um, and this will be the starting base. This is the main focal point as soon as you come out. So it's going to be a fairly bigish build. Um, and then we'll go from here and link things up. So over in that direction is our base. So we're going to go over that way and we're going to build a railway link into it. And then the city will sprawl out from here, basically. The idea is that we link in with the two other people building in the futuristic zone with us. And eventually we're all linked together to the city. 
Um, I'm sorry about the hum on the video today with the, the microphone. We are getting a new one, but I hope you enjoyed today's episode, and I hope to catch you soon. See you later. Bye bye.